deceived into slavery and sold for 2,500 United States dollars. This is the story of women who are being lured for supposed lucrative opportunities as domestic helpers in Oman. The country has become an unregulated black market targeting girls and women. Since 2013, the media has been awash with stories of migrant workers being abused in the Middle East. Nine years down the line, the setting is the same and the stories are similar as more reports emerge of abuse, dehumanization and gross underpayment of migrant workers in Oman. Those lucky to escape describe the prevailing conditions in the Gulf state as an encounter with hell. I was just living like in, like in a kennel where dogs uh, are, are laid to stay. Uh, and also, I couldn't afford to... Uh, like, they, they don't allow us to go out to buy like toiletries and stuff. They just say, go and use water for bathing, only water. Can you imagine that? Only that. I was so sick and they just gave me one, one, one brufen to cure myself. I had two lumps in this breast and then another one in this breast, three lumps. So they just gave me one brufen. So I told them it is better to commit suicide. They, they forced me to work while I'm sick and refused to, go, to take me to the hospital that time. It was better if I just commit suicide. I woke up at 4.30 uh, yeah, a.m. Then went to sleep around 2 a.m. Maybe I'll, I'll just, I was, I was only sleeping for, for three hours, waiting for 18 hours. Also, like I told you, I was working in three families without even resting or even enough money. Rutendo, not her real name, is fortunate to have survived this ordeal. But this is the torment that women are being subjected to with at least 100 Zimbabweans trapped as domestic workers in Oman. She tells us one of her friends, Sekai, is staring death in the face as her employers are demanding a refund of 3,000 United States dollars for her release. This is the grim reality faced by foreign migrant workers who are tied to their employers under the notorious kafala system, a process which bonds a migrant worker to her employer until they are able to pay off what attempt sponsorship fees for their travel. Rutendo exposes the cunning nature of the recruiting agents. We actually thought that we were going to Ethiopia, but my visa was saying I was going to Oman. I was just surprised when I, I received my visa uh, in the contract form as well, written that I was going to be a domestic servant in Oman, of which I didn't even know about Oman or heard about this country. Dreams of brighter days slowly turned into a worst nightmare. Rutendo escaped Oman last week and arrived in Zimbabwe this Saturday with only a small bag to show for her travels. For her, life in Oman was but a parade of shattered dreams. Theophilus Chumazebisi News.